Hi everyone, my name is Jin and I'm a solo administrator at a company called Satchel, uh, which is an education software company uh, based in Stratford. And today I'm going to talk to you about some of this, well, one of uh, a sales process which you can automate and I'll talk you through how. So first of all, I'll go through a typical common data quality issue. How you can win with process builder and not code and how you'll ultimately win over your sales team. So typically we have an issue with uh, relating activities to a lot of objects, accounts, opportunities, you know, and so on and so forth, and especially with the sales team. So um, a lot of relationship goals are missed when relating activities to your opportunity. Um, I miss you field. Not all the fields are completed, and you have to troll through a lot of historic reporting or old reports to get what you want if you build a new process and to get the missing fields back to pre-populate those with the data that you want. So at Satchel, when I started, they lived off uh, Google Sheets and uh, Excel, and uh, the use case being there, imagine a sales team. So you've got prospectors who book your demos, and you have closers who close your demos, and then you have the activities based in your sales team, like email tracking and so on and so forth, uh, and you want to track all of that week by week. So you see weeks one to seven, typical school sales um, term week, and that's how they wanted to track their results and the conversion based on that. So typically what they did was enter in their demo with events, track emails obviously through emails, and how did I do that? There's an app on the app exchange called Groove, and it's a simple Chrome extension, quite reasonably priced as well, and it not only tracks your emails, you can generate flows, um, you can automate your events and see a lot in Salesforce just from your Google Calendar. So here's my Google Calendar with my Chrome extension. <coughs> What I've done is installed it, uh, that infinity sign is a groove symbol, um, and what I'm doing is logging this in Salesforce, so if, a private, if there's a private event, I don't want to log it in Salesforce, but by default I can check that, log it in Salesforce, I've got some custom fields exposed, so what I wanted to do was track my demos booked in my event. And what I'm doing is relating it to my amazing deal, which is my opportunity, and my contact is myself, so I'm relating a contact to that activity and the opportunity just from my Google Calendar. I've got the remote demo session with myself, um, date, time, all the rest of it. All I do is click save and it automatically syncs into with Salesforce and the event. How did I do it? My process builder. I'm starting at the event because my Google Calendar and Salesforce are synced. I start at the event. My criteria node is that demo booked checkbox. As long as that is checked, it's going to fire off the following action. What I want it to do is update my opportunity to demo booked or whatever stage you want to predefine and so on and so forth. And show my demo as, it's a bit cut a bit off, but show my demo as scheduled. So as a closer is updating it, they can do part completed or completed and update those stages in the activity. But for now, I just want it to say demo scheduled. I activate that process and here it is in Salesforce. My event. I've got my event, all the fields which I'm mapping across, and there you can see my demo book checkbox has been mapped across into Salesforce. So again, I haven't needed to go into Salesforce, it's all happened from Google Calendar. My opportunity, my amazing deal, has automatically updated to demo booked. Everything else is there, I cannot go in and update that as a closer afterwards, or update the event as completed, and then I can put another quick action to say it's completed, and follow in the process builder thereon. As an admin and as a salesperson, I have more time as a salesperson to focus on my leads, generate more leads and kind of warm them up. Less data input because all I'm doing is booking a demo and then getting the closer to update the stage they're on. And then I have accuracy because I don't need to miss out fields in Salesforce, it's just there from the event. As an admin, I get quality times easy reports and maybe a time for a cup of coffee as well. The winning with your sales team. I now have an amazing report for my sales director. I've got my demo booked by, so the person who created it, I just rename it as booked by. The assigned to who completed the demo, and I've got my demo book checkbox. And if any other criteria or um, a definition of a demo, I can also define that and expose those custom fields in the Google Calendar as well. 
So after I completed this process, I now have that amazing uh, Google Sheet or Excel Sheet right in Salesforce as a report. I've got my term weeks, weeks one to seven, defined as dates, and I've got the count of how many demos are scheduled, completed, and all the other outcomes for my event just by creating it in Google Calendar. From the back of that, I can create dashboards. Who created what, when, by week, um, by the prospector, by the closer as well. And you can create rankings, as you know, on dashboards and get some competition going amongst your sales team as well. So what do I get? I get amazing trending results. I have my relationship goals achieved. Uh, I've got completed fields because there's no time for error. And I have nice clean reports and dashboards. And that's it for process builder and automating sales processes. Any questions, I'll be happy to answer afterwards.